the Disability and Philanthropy Forum presents Conchita Hernandez Legoreta, disability rights activist. Within the Latinx community, I always talk about the lack of resources that exists due to language, due to cultural competency. And I think that's a big barrier for communities of color to access disability information. So like the disability rights movement started in California. I grew up in California, never heard of it my whole life um, until I went to higher education because they, they weren't outreaching to anybody other than the white community. Um, and the black people that were doing a lot of the work have been erased from those narratives. Um, so coming back to the immigration, um, when immigration is brought up, it rarely includes disability, but like most issues, it disproportionately impacts disabled immigrants. Um, so we saw it play out recently with the public charge rule. So the public charge is the idea that an immigrant who is seen as a burden on society and who needs certain services for existence, such as a person with disability, is not worthy of being welcomed and gaining legal, legal status. So what this means for disabled immigrants is having to choose between food, shelter, and medical services or legal status. For many families, they decided not to seek food stamps, um, not to seek medical care. However, this is not new because the United States has a history of enacting ableist policies to determine who are welcomed and who are not. Um, when I, I was undocumented, and so when I was undocumented, I was not able to access services specific to disability, and it became very difficult to have a job that I could fulfill because I didn't have the training, the technology, or the support to make that happen. What many people don't realize is that services such as rehabilitation services for disability are only offered to residents as citizens. So immigrants with disabilities struggle in any type of, to access any type of service. To continue your learning journey, visit disabilityphilanthropy.org.